Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Matthew 5, 44-45 but I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 20 For you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. Galatians 5 verse 26 Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. John 13 verse 1 Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11 Therefore encourage one another and build one another up, just as you are doing. Romans 13 verse 7 Pay to all what is owed to them, taxes to whom taxes are owed, revenue to whom revenue is owed, respect to whom respect is owed, honor to whom honor is owed. James 2 verse 13 for judgment is without mercy to one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. 1 Peter 3 verse 7 Likewise, husbands, live with your wives in an understanding way, showing honor to the woman as the weaker vessel, since they are heirs with you of the grace of life, so that your prayers may not be hindered. 1 John 4 verse 16 So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love, and anyone who abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. James 3 verse 17 But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. 1 Corinthians 12 verses 25 to 26 That there may be no division in the body, but that the members may have the same care for one another. If one member suffers, all suffer together. If one member is honored, all rejoice together. Romans 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. 1 John 4 verse 21 And this commandment we have from him, whoever loves God must also love his brother. 1 John 4 verse 12 no one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God abides in us and his love is perfected in us. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 9 Now concerning brotherly love you have no need for anyone to write to you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love one another. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 13 So now faith, Hope and love abide these three, but the greatest of these is love. Colossians 2 verses 2 to 3 That their hearts may be encouraged, 
being knit together in love, to reach all the riches of full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. 1 Peter 1 verse 22 Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. 1 John 3 verses 16 to 17 By this we know love, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? 2 Corinthians 13 verse 11 Finally, brothers, rejoice. Aim for restoration. Comfort one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Hebrews 10 verse 24 And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. John 15 verse 17 These things I command you, so that you will love one another. 1 John 4 verse 19 We love because he first loved us. 2 Peter 1 verse 7 And godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love. Galatians 5 verse 14 For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Romans 15 verse 2 Let each of us please his neighbor for his good, to build him up. Ephesians 4 verse 3 Eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Proverbs 3 verse 3 Let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Ephesians 3 verses 17 to 19 So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Philippians 1 verse 9 And it is my prayer that your love may abound more and more with knowledge and all discernment. 1 John 3 verse 23 And this is his commandment, that we believe in the name of his Son Jesus Christ and love one another, just as he has commanded us. John 14 verse 15 if you love me, you will keep my commandments. John 15 verse 13 Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 12 For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. Romans 13 verse 14 But put on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make no provision for the flesh, to gratify its desires. Colossians 3 verse 8 But now you must put them all away, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and obscene talk from your mouth. 1 Peter 1 verses 8 to 9 Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Ephesians 4 verse 15 Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ. 
Proverbs 25 verse 17. Let your foot be seldom in your neighbor's house, lest he have his fill of you and hate you. Ephesians 5 verse 25. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. 1 John 4 verse 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. John 13 verse 34. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another.